Hey folks, welcome to another How To Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to solve these types of equations on this particular Casio graphics calculator. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to switch on the calculator, go into main menu, and we're going to navigate our way down to equation. We're going to click on equation, and under equation we've got three different menus so we'd like to go to F3 which is the solver. Once you go in there what you can do is you can actually input this entire equation and then substitute your values and then figure out what the value of K is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put this equation into the graphics calculator and for the letters I'm actually going to use alpha so I'm going to go alpha t which is alpha divide that's going to give me t and then I've got shift decimal point for equals then I've got 2 times pi so it's pi is right there and I'm going to multiply by square root and I'm going to put a fraction button here now in the numerator I'm going to go alpha m so there we go that's going to be m right there and then alpha k right there so I'm going to put this equation in and right now as you can see you've got t is equal to 0, m equals to 0 and k is equal to 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first substitute t. t is equal to 20 so I'm going to put down t equals to 20. m is equal to 2 and I'm going to put down m equals to 2. And finally when I get down to k what I can do is I can actually press the solve button and it should actually solve this entire equation for me. And right now it tells me that k is equal to 0 0.197. Let's go 0 0.1974. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the main menu and just check if that was actually if that's actually good to go. So I'm going to go 2 pi multiplied. I'm going to do square root of a fraction, and m is equal to 2. And then in the denominator I should have 0 0.1974. Now remember this is not going to be accurate but as long as the answer is coming close to 20 then I think I'm on the right track now that's partially because of the rounding error so as you can see I'm getting an answer of 19.999 that's close to 20 so I can say that K is equal to 0 0.1974 all right let's try number two here so going to menu going down to equation we're going to click on f3 which is the solver I'm going to delete this formula and then I'm going to put my new formula now in this particular case I've actually got symbols so what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace the symbol as M which is the mean and then I've got uh, Sigma here so I'm going to put down S for that particular symbol there so I'm going to go alpha Z and then shift decimal point so Z is equal to I'm going to put the top line in brackets so I'm going to go again alpha X minus alpha M which is that then I'm going to divide this by, well I could have actually done it like this, let me try this. There we go, let's go alpha x minus alpha m and then we're going to divide it by alpha s. Now this is particularly useful for normal distribution. So here what I'm going to do is, as you can see there's some of these numbers that are already there. So, so what I'm going to do is I need to, have to get rid of them. So firstly I'm going to go down to z and I'm going to put that as 2 x is 15 the mean I don't know what it is standard deviation is 3 so I'm gonna put that as 3 but if I go into M and it says M equals to 2 if I click on solve that is now giving me a value of 9 for the M so that basically means the mu is equal to 9 now let's actually think about this so if we do 15 minus 9 that's going to be 6 6 divided by 3 is going to give us 2 so we know that the mean in this case is going to be 9 or the way I use the solver I've got alpha m is actually equal to 9. So folks pretty much with this graphics calculator what you can do is you could input any formula that you want and you should be able to substitute those respective values and then solve for them. Now let's say um, if I want to go back to the same question but I've been given the standard I want to figure out the standard deviation if the mean is 12 then I would just go back and say the mean is 12 what would the standard deviation be I would go into the standard deviation and click on solve that tells me the standard deviation is 1.5 so once you have the formula as the bunch of variables here then you can just change the variables 
and then get the unknown variable out from this uh, particular mode right there. And that, folks, is pretty much how you solve equations on this Casio graphics calculator. Thank you.